In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to tie the clinch knot as well as the improved clinch knot here as well. So we're covering both. And this knot here is really, really simple. It's good whenever you want to tie your line to, you know, tackle. It could be a hook, could be a swivel or, you know, pretty much whatever else you're doing. So it's simple to do. It's really, really strong. But one thing I will mention is it's, it's not going to be the best if you're using braided lines. So if you're connecting braid to like a swivel or a hook or something, it's, it could work, but it's not going to be the best option. I wouldn't recommend it. The, the Palomar seems to be way better. So I will leave a link for that down below if you do want to check that out. But if you're using floral or mono, it's going to work really well. And that's why it's definitely something you need to know. All right. So before we do get started, I just want to mention a gear giveaway I'm planning on doing. So it's probably going to be at like 1000 subscribers and then I'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting reel. We have to have like a backpack, you know, a fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and it'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. So I am going to be using some thicker line here just because it's going to give you a better idea and visual of what's going on. And then I'm just going to use something like this here to tie onto just because it's going to be easy, but you could attach this knot to, it could be a hook, it could be a swivel, pretty much anything you want. But I am first going to start with the clinch knot and then I'll do the improved version after. And I would recommend that you probably just go with the improved version. It's going to, it's going to be stronger. There's just one extra step. It's really, really simple, but you can you pretty much use whatever one you want. They're both going to be fairly good. So the very first step is to take whatever you want to attach it to. And all you're going to do is stick the line through and you are going to double it back like this. Now all you're going to do, and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty much just like a normal fishing knot. Um, you know, if you've ever done like a standard fishing knot, but all you're going to do is you're going to take the tag end here and you're going to twist it up this line five or six times. So whatever, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Five or six seems to be a good number. You can, you know, physically twist this around, or you can simply just hold it and twist this, right? But they both pretty much do the same thing. I'm just going to twist it around just to, you know, show you exactly what's going on. So five to six times you're going to go up. And all you're going to do is take this tag end here and go back through the very first loop. So you see there's going to be a loop right here. You're simply just going to take your tag end, put it through the loop. So you just want to give yourself a bit of tag in there to work with just so it doesn't pull back through. But one thing I always like doing with my knots is I like to put a bit of moisture on. So you can either put this in water or spit on or something. It just kind of seems to secure it a little bit better. But all you have to do is kind of, you know, slowly pull it tight, cinch this down just like that. And all you have to do is pull it tight. And whenever it is tight and secure, you just clip off the tag in there and you are good to go. All right, now let's do the improved version. And it's exactly the same the first few steps, but there is one additional step at the end that kind of gives it a bit of extra security. So all you're gonna do is put your line through, you're gonna double it back just like that. We're gonna do the same five to six wraps up. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to take your tag end here and go back through the circle. Now, instead of pulling this tight, like we did on the original version, you're going to take the tag end here and you're going to loop it back through this loop right here. And then again, you just want to add some moisture to that. And then all you have to do is slowly pull it together just like that. Pull it tight. Make sure you know, you, your, your loops there are cinched down nice and tight. Tighten it up, clip off the tag end, and there is your improved clinch knot. So if you do want to learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's going to kind of walk you through all of the all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all that kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.